Welcome back to another video. I've got something interesting in today. It's the Nightcore EC4 GTS. Now this is a pre-production unit, so it's going to be more of a preview and hands-on rather than a review that I normally do, but it's going to be similar. I'm putting the main information that I've got with this on the screen because I don't have any retail packaging with this torch. So it's just to show you the main features and the spec. I will put the user manual at the later stage in the video to show you that. So this is relatively compact for a two cell 18650 torch and they're using a die cast body, which means that you've got, um, it's pressure treated rather than just uh, poured into the mold. So that should improve the strength and the heat distribution on the torch throughout the body because there'd be no seals where you'd normally get on a torch. You've got quite thick fins on this as well. So we have the switches on the top, two of them, and on the side, you can see we've got some grip some sort of a square pattern grip on there just to give you some texture to grab onto and there's some holes there for the wrist strap you get a wrist strap with this and a holster now the base you unscrew that and then take that off there is a thick silicone cover on the bottom of that and you can see the threads on the inside so it's all one piece that this is molded as and you've got the markings there for the um, positive and negative this takes the protected cells so you can't use the unprotected seals with this. You'd need more than one spacer. As far as the body design goes and the molding, um, if you try and put it in the wrong way around on the base, it won't just won't screw in. I might have just changed that slightly, made them a little bit different, maybe one a bit taller and one a bit shorter. That's a fairly minor point to note. And there's a quick shot on the inside. You'll see there's a contact points there and a spring. And you've got the markings there for the way that you insert the cells. Now you see that silicone covering right around the bottom there that provides the water resistance on the torch at that point so it's quite thick and it's even under the screw section dropping the cells in now um, i would have liked to have been able to use unprotected cells but it's not a huge issue um, even with a couple of spaces you might find that it's still not quite enough and um, they could have gone with a double spring design but not really a major problem particularly if you're into torches you've probably got the protected cells around so we just screw that in it does take a bit of pressure to push that in and you'll see that light that's come up there is your battery indicator and that's not as advanced as some of them but it does give you one to three flashes to give you an idea of the battery level that you've put in um, that's okay by me maybe would have liked an extra level there but um, it's all right it's useful to have that i like the build and design on this torch it does feel quite comfortable in the hand i haven't used this style of torch before so this is the first time that i've tried it and i, I get on quite well with it it's definitely a lot more compact than the normal dual cell torches now with the tripod base i have had a lot of tripods in um, and ball heads recently but they're not fitting um, and I've kind of passed this on to Nightcore with the plate on they just don't fit um, because it seems to be slightly recessed the thread on the bottom of the torch there you can see there's a raised section around it so none of the tripod plates that I have fit this so I've told them about that and obviously I think that's a problem which needs to be looked at now it's possible you might have uh, some of the budget super budget tripods have longer threads but still something which really needs to be looked at um, uh, I changed the design on that slightly. I mean, you can screw it in without the plate. It's just too far down, so that if you've got the plate on there, it just won't fit in. It just won't connect with the threads. So that's something which needs to be looked at. Now, look at the supplied case, and it's quite a nice one. They've gone for something a bit more beefy with this one. You have the same sort of style you usually get with the night cores. You've got the double loop on the back. You've got the number there for the in case you ever need to get a replacement sewn in belt loop underneath that and it's got quite a bit of padding on it this one the neoprene padding on the case because it's going to be a, a heavier torch with the batteries in it so that's a good thing quite happy with the supplied holster with this and it's also fine to put it either head up or you can also reverse it around and put it head down so i'm glad they included a decent quality holster um, all the nightcore holsters i've been fairly happy with to be honest, compared to some of the other makes, and there's been some decent ones, but they've been pretty much on target with their holsters Nightcore. And I think it's important, particularly for premium torches, because you want to give it some protection. This is the wrist strap, standard one, and you get those two holes there so you can attach it. And I will go over the user interface, so it's a single press with the lower button on and off, and then cycle through the power levels on the top button, and it obviously has a mode memory, as you would expect. Now moving on to the next part, 
you do have instant access to ultra low and turbo and that's really important I think for a torch of this type because it's uh, something which I like to see on a user interface with a torch is instant access to low and turbo and you can also get to the uh, turbo when it's on as well. This is a location LED so you can push and hold that and that will give you the flashing every couple of seconds and you also have a lockout with this by pressing both of the buttons at the same time. Again, I haven't really had any problems with this torch. I've been using it for weeks now, testing it, using it pretty much every day and I haven't had an issue with it being accidentally activated but I do like to have that lockout function. This is showing the instant access to turbo and that's the momentary turbo when you've got it on. So as far as the UI goes on this torch, you've got most of what you would want. There's your uh, access to the strobe mode. Now you can only access that when the torch is off. Perhaps that's the only thing that I can think of on the UI is you can't get to the strobe unless the torch is off. Everything else is covered instant access to low. You have the strobe modes, you have the instant access to turbo and the momentary turbo. So they've pretty much nailed it on that sort of things. Quick look at the reflector. It's pretty deep smooth reflector so this is going to have quite a decent range on it compared to your average sort of torch so it's a bit of a thrower not an extreme thrower but definitely something which is going to be uh, above average for this particular style of torch quick visual comparison next to the concept one which is in itself very small it's pretty compact for a, a two cell 18 650 torch this is the user guide i didn't get one with the torch but I went onto the site and just downloaded it and took the screen grabs for you. So that will cover everything, including the operation and the features on the torch, just in case I missed anything. I know some people like to look through that. Now moving on to the beam shots, we'll start off at the low output and then we're moving up to the mid. The most spicy on this is pretty good. Again, quite happy with it up to the high level. It's at this point that you can really start to see these concentrated light in the middle and it's a narrower beam pattern with quite a bit of punch in that central area. So that's where the range is coming from with the reflector. If you compare it to the MH23, you can see it's a wider beam. It still has that hot spot, but it's different. And then to the Concept 1, different again, which is a more distributed light. It does have some range, the Concept 1, but not nearly as much as the other two. So I'll run through some of those beam shots and come back with a few thoughts at the end of the video.
Just a few thoughts having used this for a couple of weeks. I quite like the design overall. It's uh, comfortable to hold, good power output, nice bit of range. Might have added a little bit of sculpting on the undersides to give a bit more of a feel in the hand, but it is quite a nice torch to hold. Only uh, real grumble I have is the strange issue with the tripod screw thread. So that's something I'm just reporting on. That might change in the future, I'm not sure. If I have anything to update on this, I'll add it into the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you soon.